Okay guys, today is an exciting day and that is because the time has come. I am gonna finally teach myself or try to learn how to drive the van. Freaking clever. Props to whoever invented this. <laughs> Are you ready? Wait, 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 you looked it up? This video is eight years old. Oh yeah. Is that good? Yeah, we're moving. We're, we're driving. driving, we're driving. Welcome back to the journey where my husband, Austin, our dog, Danny, and myself, Becky, take you on the journey as we fix up our 1970s camper van. Thanks to Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this video. Learning something new of this capacity is, it's gonna be a lot for me. I already feel this coming, so I wanna make sure that I'm going into it with a good open mindset, a calm mindset to set myself up for the most success that I can. So that being said, <laughs> I'm gonna procrastinate a little bit because I am nervous and do something exciting that I wanted to do for so long, basically since we moved into this house. And that is to switch up my bedding with the help of Brooklyn Inn. Um, to clarify, I have washed my sheets, like a lot. We're just switching up the colors and the patterns and it's gonna be so exciting. So you guys know that me redoing this whole house and especially the van project has been really a journey into me figuring out more of who I am and building a life and a style that really reflects that. And I just gotta say that the all white bedding is not feeling very reflective or self-expressive these days. So let's change that. Okay, if you guys aren't already familiar, Brooklinen creates high quality home goods to elevate your home. They're gonna last you a long time and are worth the investment. This is the classic hardcore sheep bundle from Brooklinen, which, oh my God. It includes a duvet cover, extra pillowcases, and your whole core sheet set. And buying them as a bundled set instead of individually saves you 20% on your order. Investing in sheets that are both long lasting and comfortable has been an important part of my adulting journey. The white sheets that I'm currently switching out are Brooklinen and I've actually owned these for so many years. I have the best sleeps in them so I have nothing but good things to say and I know that I'm gonna get an equally great sleep in these new ones. So this duvet cover is actually double sided and I thought for sure I'd wanna go with the bold on top and have the little pinstripe just peeking through but I don't know, something about this mustard and butter combo together is just calling to me, it is gorgeous. But I do love that I have that option for later and come on guys, how much of a me print is this? She's stunning. These sheets are in the color toffee and the duvet is in the pattern broken stripe multi, but if these colors aren't calling to you specifically, you can mix and match from several different colors and patterns on their website to fit your perfect style. And I wanna tell you about these sheets specifically because these are my favorite kind. These are the classic percale and they feature a 270 thread count weave. And I like to describe them as that like thick, crispy hotel vibe sheet it is my absolute favorite kind. And it's the best kind for keeping you cool at night if you like to sleep a little cooler. It is already feeling so much better in here. It feels so much more me. I just have one final step I want to do, and that is to put up two lights that I've been holding on to for a while. I thrifted both of them, of course I did. And let's just have a moment for... <clears throat> She's beautiful. Okay, so Brooklinen is having a sale right now. All of their sheets are 15% off with some of their bundles being up to 35% off. So that means this is the perfect time to start your gift shopping or just even snag your favorites before they sell out in the holiday rush. Click that link in the description for more info. Okay guys, before I even step foot in this van, I wanna understand like what I'm doing in theory before I try and do it. Um, I want to know why a manual transmission like works the way it does or how it even works because that's like that's the kind of learning that works for me best is understanding like why something works before knowing how to do it. I am going to go on YouTube. I'm going to look up how does the manual transmission work and hopefully teach myself something today. I also want to make this process maybe a little less intimidating for anyone who's watching this at home and has never learned how to drive manual and wants to learn. It's always been something that's intimidated me and it's always been a skill that I wish I had. 
Um, I especially know that if I were to ever travel Europe, it's like the most common type of vehicle out there from my understanding and knowing how to drive it would be hugely beneficial. I want us to learn it together. I want me to figure it out and then hopefully explain it to you guys in, in ways that also makes it easy for you to, in theory, understand what you're doing too. Because yeah, learning something new in, in what honestly feels like somewhat of a male dominated world, like the auto industry, as a woman can be a little scary. And it doesn't have to be girlies. Let's learn how to drive this thing, shall we? Okay. Manual transmission, or simply a gearbox, has been serving automobiles well for many decades. The power generated by the engine flows through the transmission before it reaches the drive wheels. Now, let's look at its inner work here. The input and output shafts are connected through a counter shaft. Oh, with the help of a hypothetical connector. Is that what I have? Here, the gears are always in mechanism mechanism is shown here. The main here, shaft gears and output shafts are connected through a counter shaft. Three speed mechanism is more simple by sliding the gears. Sliding the gears will give a different transmission. One gear shaft will have a shaft and will be rotating and the gears are always in mechanism. So such a locking action is not an easy task. So you can't put it in reverse. Wow, the car is moving. Okay, I'm gonna need some time with this. We'll come back. Okay, <laughs> I have been doing a ton of learning and watching a lot of videos. I took some notes and I think I understand the concept now. So I'm gonna get Austin and I'm gonna explain to him how it works and he'll tell me if he thinks I understand it or not. Uh, also, he doesn't know that I've been learning this, so he doesn't know what I'm about to tell him. Okay. <clears throat> Austin, are you ready? This is how... <laughs> this is how a manual transmission works. Are you ready? Wait, 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 wait. you looked it up? I, I did some learning today. All right. <laughs> so it all starts with this thing called the clutch. And the clutch is connected to the flywheel, which is connected to your engine, right? Yes. Okay. Wow. Then there's the input shaft, which has your gears on it. Okay. And when you push the pedal for the clutch, that disengages the shaft. Wow. So when you have the pedal down, it's not touching the shaft with all the gears, so no power, right? Yes. So why, why does it do that? So that you can switch gears. Can? And I don't know. So the engine can continue running when you're stopped. Oh. See, I'm learning things. Then below the shaft, there's a counter shaft, which has another set of gears. And this is where gear ratio comes into play. Okay? Okay. So combining two different sizes of gears gives you better power for the amount of spins that one set of gear does, mm -hmm. right? Or it could be worse. So you have to make sure that you're using the right ratio alignment for the speed that you want out of your engine. Wow, pretty impressed. <laughs> so what you do is you have this thing called a shifter sleeve and connector forks, and they're the things that go in between the already connected spinning gears. Yes. And that's how you select the gear that you want to be in. Yes. <laughs> so when you push down on the clutch, it disengages the transmission rod, which means that you're now able to switch gears easily yes. and you're not messing with the engine. Yes. Okay, so to my understanding, you wanna switch up a gear like every three to 4,000 RPMs, depending on your car, right? Yeah, that's a lot for this van. Okay, what is it for the van? Probably 1,000. 1,000? Okay, this guy was teaching me in a Honda Civic. Yeah. Let's say I'm going 80 kilometers down the road yes. and then there's a car in front of me that brakes, so I brake. Now I've gone basically to like, Zero. Okay. okay, okay, whatever. I've gone down to like five. I'm like barely moving, yes. waiting for this car. Now I'm ready to go again, and I might have already been in like third gear. Do I leave it there, or did I have to put it back to two or one? Probably going to second at that speed. Think about it more like first gear is one to 20, second gear is 20 to 40. Okay. So whatever I break to, I have to move my clutch to match that. Your gear. Yeah, my gear to match that. Yes and then I climb back up with the gears again. Yes. Okay. Is this a lot for you? No, I think I get it. I think I, I think get it. I think starting and stopping is like what we're gonna start with. That's what the guy said in the video. He said, you need to practice the most is from the car not moving at all to turning it on, getting it in first and going. He was like, there's a lot of steps there. If you can get past that, then you can do the rest. I will sit there. I will, if when we get going, I will do the, the gear selecting. You will? Yes. Okay, are you ready to learn with me? <laughs> okay. 
Hello, good morning. Okay, today we are gonna go to the automotive flea market, which is a thing that happens twice a year. And it's basically like a giant flea market with all sorts of booths and vendors that are selling like parts and vintage stuff and all stuff related to cars. So I don't really know what we're gonna find there, but we're keeping our eye out for any and all Volkswagen parts for the van. Because this is where you find things like this, is these shows of people that just have old parts and have collected things throughout the years. And they've got, you know, the one thing you're looking for. So we're gonna go and see what we can find. Not a Volkswagen though. I agree, that is cool. You don't got any Volkswagen logos, do you? Nope. We're on the hunt for one. <laughs> it's a cowboy hat ashtray. <laughs> pretty cool when you put your cigarette in the middle when you're done, or when you're halfway done. Yeehaw! Look at this one, buddy. It's tire. Are you tired of smoking? Isn't that cute? <laughs> Very cool. For a seventy two uh, Westphalia goes on the front. Oh, okay, okay. Take it. It's yours. Really? Yep. Okay. Thanks so much. You're a good man. We'll have us found it. Small. <laughs> it's a little small. Uh, okay, we're back from the car show market. Honestly, there wasn't too much that was helpful there for us. It was a lot of... Well, we didn't see it all. It was too big. I know. It was too much. It was a lot of like specific things like, oh, you need a bolt for this one make of car. 1956 Mercury. And we didn't we didn't have enough of a list like that yet. But we did find... The Actually, the guy gave it to us for free. He was so nice. He was very nice. He was like, just take it. Just take it. So we're like, are you sure? And I knew like this is obviously way too small, but... Well, it depends. Like, let's say... You stand out here. <laughs> oh, there Wait. you go. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, there we go. See? Okay, now walk it back for scale. This is going to fall off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know if green tape is the right approach. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Very cute. You can really see how terrible the paint job is up close oh, now. It's terrible. It's just oh, terrible. It's like Why is it textured? Roller? I don't know. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> yeah, it's completed. This is it. Oh. Becky's just procrastinating because she does. She's so scared to drive the manual <laughs> transmission. So, oh, let's just tape this on here with green tape. <laughs> Should we take it out and see let's if I roll. can do it? Let's okay. roll. Let's I'll drive to the park. Then yeah. once we get there, you can do it. I can't be trusted to take it on a real road just yet. <laughs> Okay. okay, ready Becky? You know Hold what you're on. doing? No, I wanna I wanna just tell you the steps and you tell me if I'm right. Okay. okay. So basically, always press the clutch when you are switching gears, when you are braking, and when you are starting the car. Is that right? And and stop if you're in gear. And stopped. Okay. Press the clutch, turn the car on, put it in the first gear, mm -hmm. slowly release the clutch, give it gas. Mm -hmm. And then we're going. And then we're going. And then when I want to go to number two, press the clutch, yeah. move it to two. But for right now, we'll just stop and start again. So we don't go into second gear. You just leave it in first gear. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, let go of the button. Okay, you're in first gear. Okay. Okay, now slowly let the clutch out. Well, it's pretty fast, but you were moving. We're Look driving! We're, moving. we're driving! Okay, so now, and now I push in the clutch and let go of the gas. And we're just gonna start over. But I, I want to move on to the next step. Well, I, are, I already like. Okay, let's try this one again. Okay? I shredded the first step. Okay, now <laughs> okay. let go of the clutch very slowly while giving it some gas. Yeah, it's pretty fast, but it's working. Yes. Okay, now push in the clutch and let go of the gas, and we'll go into second gear. Okay, okay we're in second gear. Now let go of the clutch again. Yeah! Am I doing it? We're doing it! Ah! The wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Am I driving this? You're driving it. Are you proud of me? I'm proud. <laughs> you did it. 
without stowing it. Oh. oh, we're out of gas. Wait, really? No, it just stalled. Oh. So I'm now push in, yeah, you got the clutch in. Now press the starter button. Perfect. Okay, now put put it in first gear. And let's go. I feel like you guys don't realize how- Oh, how, spun the tires. How clunky this this. Okay, we're revving pretty is. high. We're revving, let go of the gas. Now push in the clutch. Break it. Yeah, and let go of the gas. And I go into second. It's gonna stall. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Did I do it? You did it. Keeps wanting to stall though. This is, yeah, like this vehicle keeps wanting to stall. So it's not your fault. It's just because this thing's a relic. So would you say that you think I actually know what I'm doing? Yes. Are you proud of me? Yes. You just need more practice. That's all. So, <laughs> how'd I do? Yeah, no, it's pretty smooth. <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, it's just some foam. Just kidding. <laughs> it was actually, um, I'm really impressed with your skill. Are you? Yeah. I'm actually proud of myself too, because I thought this was going to be a very intimidating process. I don't know, I'm just not a, I'm not a super fast learner, I wouldn't say. I think you understood the mechanics of it, so it made it a lot easier to do it. I would say so too. If you are thinking of learning, Go watch those informational videos that I spent a long time watching because if you can understand how it works, putting it into practice is so much easier. It's a lot easier. How do you like the new sheets? These are great. They're nice material. Did you have a good sleep in them? I did. If you guys are into these sheets at all as well, just a friendly reminder at the end of the video to check out Brooklinen. All of their sheets are 15% off with up to 35% off their bundles. You can click the link in the description for all that info. Thank you so much, Brooklyn, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you guys for coming along with another chapter in the van journey. Yay, it was so much fun. What do we do next? I kind of feel like the world is my oyster right now that I can drive it. Like, should we go somewhere? Let's go to BC. Oh, that's a bit ambitious. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>